I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I can't say anything. <laughs> Can I have a hug? Oh, you kidding? Oh my God. In this video, we're showcasing the most generous donations made on Undercover Boss. These acts of kindness from the bosses changed their employees' lives in unimaginable ways. So, let's get to it. Paul Quintel Paul Quintel, Alfred Angelo's president, is known for his immense generosity. Eager to assist his employees, he ended up meeting Leanne, a highly dedicated worker. As they chatted and exchanged life stories, Leanne mentioned her plans to marry her girlfriend in the coming year. I mean, what are your plans? Right like now? More on a personal level. Right. Can... Um, next year, I'm marrying my girlfriend, so I have a wedding to plan for. Unfortunately, not everything was progressing as Leanne had hoped. When questioned about her parents' role in her life, Leanne confided that she had been on her own since she was 17. Her parents were unable to accept her sexual orientation leading to escalating tension that ultimately forced her to leave. I have been on my own since I was like 17. They weren't comfortable with me in the house anymore once they found out about my sexual orientation. That's, that's tough. Leanne went on to explain that she initially stayed with friends, but eventually wore out her welcome. After I overstayed my welcome a few places, uh, I ran out of some place to go. So I went from there to um, Penn Station in New York. So I slept pretty much on a bench and washed my hair in sinks and did what I needed to do. For a while, she prayed for at least two meals a day. This deeply saddened Quintel. When the time came for Quintel to reveal his true identity, he had more than a few surprises up his sleeve. He made a heartwarming gesture that left everyone in awe. But I want to make sure Alfred Angelo provides you with any other dresses you need. <laughs> for your bridesmaids, flower girls, and most importantly, your fiance. But that wasn't all. Believing that good fortune comes in pairs, Quintel offered even more. Devastated by Leanne's experience with homelessness, he presented her with an additional $25,000 for a down payment on a home. So Alfred Angelo and the Alfred Angelo family would like to give you $25,000. <laughs> towards a deposit of whatever home. <laughs> Could this have been any more perfect? We highly doubt it. Leanne is surely set for a memorable wedding. Meanwhile, another employee's life was completely turned around for the better, thanks to their boss's generosity. Gina Rivera In another episode, Gina Rivera, the president of Phoenix Salon Suites, goes undercover and encounters Richie, a devoted father. Learned that with rapid expansion comes growing pains, so I decided to come to one of our most successful locations to see what they're getting right. Are you Richie? I'm Richie. I'm Ashley. Nice to nice meet, to meet you. you. Welcome. I'm Richie Roman. Richie is grappling with substantial medical expenses due to his daughter's premature birth, 15 weeks ahead of schedule. When we had my daughter, she came 15 and a half weeks early. So he stays home and does lots of physical therapy and speech therapy to get her caught up from the prematurity, but that's his full-time job and then I handle this for us. Richie opens up about his extensive medical debts from his daughter's unexpected birth conditions. Six surgeries. By the time she left the hospital four months later, she weighed four pounds, three ounces. And we just kind of liquidated everything. Cars, house, business, everything got liquidated to start over. Over a little over $2 million in medical bills. Touched by his situation, the boss goes above and beyond to assist him with his daughter's medical costs and even more. I am going to provide you a home. A house? Up to $250,000 in value. So you never have to worry. <laughs> wow, you guys. Richie's reaction is as authentic as it gets. <laughs> they gave me a car and a house. What? They gave to a house. <laughs> you can just tell a huge weight has been lifted off his family's shoulders, and this gives them the fresh start they truly needed. Another employee was also recognized for their dedication and service to the company receiving a check for $250,000. Mitchie Model Mitchie Model, the CEO of Model Sporting Goods, 
proved to be a blessing in disguise for Angel. As she guided him through their daily tasks, Mitch couldn't help but be amazed. My first impression of Angel is I'm blown away. The understanding how important customer service is, and it's great to see a CEO of things that I totally believe in is being filtered down at store level. During their conversation, Angel shared her heart-wrenching story. At 25, she was a restaurant manager and became pregnant. Eventually, she couldn't continue working, and her life took a drastic turn. She experienced homelessness before finding refuge in a shelter, where she's lived for the past two years. When I turned 25, I ended up being pregnant. And I was a manager at a restaurant, and then I got too far along, I couldn't work there anymore. And ever since then, it's just like, times have been really, really rough. It's, you know, we've been homeless for a long time. We live in a shelter now. Angel's resilience is evident in her eyes, and her positive attitude deeply affects the undercover boss. She reveals that she has three children, a four-year-old, a three-year-old, and a 20-month-old baby. Despite the challenges, Angel prioritized being present for her children, even when they had nothing. She remained hopeful and strong in the face of adversity. We've been down to where as though we didn't have any money to eat. Do you understand mm. what I'm saying? But I'm gonna tell you something. Things get better. As long as you have that drive in there, as long as you push and you push, things are gonna get better. You're gonna be fine. Her story moved Mitchell to tears. When he finally showed his true identity, Angel was stunned. Mitchell commended her for her dedication and loyalty, and then surprised her with a generous gift. And that's why I'm promoting you to assistant manager. What? Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I can't believe this. We're giving you a $14,000 raise. What? <laughs> but Mitchell had even more in store for his devoted employee with a grand gesture that would take anyone by surprise. He changed Angel's life forever, and no one could be more deserving. I'm serious, and so I have on me a check for $250,000. Oh my God, no, no, oh my, oh my goodness, no. Angel, are you okay? Oh my God. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Paul D'Amico Paul D'Amico, Moe's Southwest Grill's president, significantly impacted the life of an employee named Damon. The two engaged in casual conversation while working together, during which D'Amico learned that Damon's daughter often joined him at work. Damon admitted that he had trouble finding a babysitter and had no other option but to bring her along. She's usually if I don't have a babysitter, she'll come. She'll come yeah. to the, uh, She'll come to work with me. So she's a good kid. Her mom fell on some bad times where I end up getting cussed with my daughter. Damon's commitment to his daughter is truly inspiring. In a world where many people avoid taking responsibility, Damon went above and beyond for his little girl. D'Amico even had the chance to meet Mackenzie, Damon's daughter and her presence deeply moved him, bringing tears to his eyes. It choked me up. I think about my daughters and how, how you want the best for them. It's nice meeting you. And I see him trying to give her the absolute best. During the big reveal when the disguise was removed, D'Amico became emotional, reflecting on how his father's boss had supported their family during difficult times. What I learned from that is that my father's boss took care of him so that he could take care of other people. And so I want to help you and I want to take care of you. Damon's story touched D'Amico so profoundly that he decided to make not just one, but two substantial donations, leaving Damon in utter disbelief. I want to give you $15,000 and I want you to go out and get the best reliable car you can. Thank you. <laughs> but that wasn't all. D'Amico had even more surprises for him, leaving Damon speechless. I want to give you $20,000 in cash. And I want you to use that for quality daycare so that when you come to Moe's and you work, you're not worrying about Mackenzie. Damon's selfless love and devotion to his daughter make him truly deserving of these donations. Todd Peterson Todd Peterson, Vivint's CEO, experienced a profound shift in his outlook on life after meeting Will, a field service technician within his company. As Will demonstrated how to install thermostats, they took a moment to chat. 
Will opened up about the stress of his long work hours, beginning his day at 10 a.m. and not returning home until 11 p.m. But I'm stressed out because I'm working so many hours. I start at 10 and I'm off every night, 10, 30, 11 at least. Will's personal story was even more heartbreaking. His wife had battled cancer twice, leaving Peterson utterly taken aback. As Will discussed this, he became emotional and struggled to articulate his feelings. When she was going through her, uh, her struggle with cancer and stuff. Despite his wife's illness, the company had not granted him any time off to care for her. This meant he needed to put even more hours to afford the escalating medical bills. The lack of support led Will to question who he was truly working for. Vivid didn't give me the time off. They were like, no, you gotta work. And it, it, was, it left a bad taste in my mouth. It really made me question who, who am I working for, yeah. you know? His wife had undergone amputation surgery, but the cost of reconstructive surgery was too high. The medication alone cost thousands of dollars, forcing Will to choose between medicine and car repairs since there was no way he could afford both. We ran into some hard times. The medicine alone was uh, like $1,000 a month. Wow. And once the car went down, it's medicine or get the car fixed. Yeah, right, and of course. <laughs> Will's dedication to his wife was evident and his willingness to work long hours. When Peterson revealed his true identity, he also unveiled a significant surprise for Will. Peterson offered to cover the cost of his wife's reconstructive surgery, leaving Will stunned and speechless. Just as you'd think Peterson was finished, he unveiled another generous surprise. Not only would he cover the surgery, but he also gave Will $15,000 towards a new car. I'm gonna give you $15,000 towards a new car. Man, it's like all the problems I had that I told you about. We addressed them all right here, right now, and um, I appreciate it, man. Incredible. The emotional scene was heartwarming, as Will's life took a drastic turn for the better in just a few moments. Now Will and his wife can look forward to a fresh start. Which boss had the biggest impact changing their employee's life? Not all bosses are as heartfelt as the ones we highlighted. Click here to see bosses that absolutely let loose on their employees.